Chicago. I'm Swisher Pearl. We in the basement. Brought to you by my brothers from Culture Media. I got CSR with me today, man. What up? What's, what's going on? <laughs> Nothing much, man. Okay, okay. So I got I'm gonna I'm just start it off with this now. You were one of the artists in the set that I was like. In the set it off cipher, yeah, that just hit 20k on YouTube. Now yeah, you can check it out. Dang, I'm gonna say. Like, so we had uh, J Bambi on the show. It was safe. Yeah. It's cool, they both on that. Yeah, it really goes back. Nah, but uh, we had J Bambi on the show earlier on. Now we got you up. We want to get all the all the women from the set it off cipher on the show, right? Now. Word. Yeah, right. Yeah. So, like, what, what was that experience like? For you? Uh, it was my first time working with women in a collective, so that was that was crazy dope. Cause you know it's so much ah, oh, this really a Nikki, this really a Nikki. It's so much like beef between women in the industry. So us coming together and doing that, SC SC Lindsay put that together. She just dropped the tape actually, the Autumn EP that just came out. Go check that out on SoundCloud. But yeah, that us coming together was dope. That was my first time doing that. It was a real growing it was a great it was a huge step for me it was a huge step for me and we did that shit and we <laughs> rocked it out it just hit 20k go check that shit out hey, yeah it, nah that shit was yeah. hot and we say we say it all the time that was arguably one of the biggest music productions that came out of the city you know what i'm saying around that time so i would say so yeah, i blow on that shit all the time probably especially 20k i can't even imagine 20k in my wild <laughs> but you've been you were doing music for a while now right yeah, I've been I've been taking it seriously for about a year and a half now, recording and connecting with dope dope culture, the oh, culture awesome. culture family, you know. Big C's, baby, big C's. Culture. <laughs> culture, culture, culture. <laughs> so it was it, you said like a year now. So it was yeah. around that time when you felt like you had the confidence that you could actually build a name in the city as an artist. Definitely so. I was something rather just that. But more so just me uh, stepping out of depression and anxiety to really do what I felt. You know, just do do things I felt. Yeah. So and really live out who I wanted to be. So for the people that was close to you, you know, in the circle, what was their reaction like when you first got released? Uh, super supportive. Uh, I gotta shout out New Kings. We were we all came out of Whitney Young. It was a collective. Uh, com composed of Ali and Luke G, and they're a dope ass collective, man. But there's more people too in that collective, just family. Mm -hmm. And we all came up, we were working at Music Garage. Shout out to Ungod, mm -hmm. they're dope as hell too. Buy some beats from them, man. Music Yo, Garage, she got hella plugs. <laughs> hella man. Music Garage, girl. I ain't even made it. I'm putting everybody on. <laughs> everybody on. So you clearly have a large network when it comes to the city of Chicago. You so. know what? I wouldn't say so. No. Nah, not I mean, yet. Uh, not yet. You done drop on names and I ain't heard any artists now. <laughs> so like what what do you feel about the Chicago hip hop scene as a as a collective? Like does it give you hope knowing that you can reach out to all these different people and not only are they talented but they passionate about what they do? Yeah, definitely so. Well, now you you found some success on SoundCloud with your song in Wood. Where it's at like thirty five thousand plays. Thirty-five point six k. So like, yeah, that's crazy. That is insane. How that make you feel? First it makes all, me feel good. Is it a, like a method to it? Like, do you do you when you put that song out? Did you feel like like I know this shit gonna get a, a dope ass reaction? Nah, I was really uh honestly, I'm very judgmental of everything I put out. I'm very serious. Sometimes I take it too serious. But I mean, it ain't enough people not taking it serious. Exactly. It ain't enough people taking it serious. I mean, you know it's, I mean? it's no such thing. But, I feel like I'm my own worst critic. Right. You know I mean, yeah, that's just that's that's what I mean. But. All right, now, now let's talk about your style. How would would you describe it as a certain way? Would you box yourself in or somewhere? Or um, I feel like you real soulful. Like you you. you your voice is beautiful, first of all. Like you, you harmonize a lot of your tracks, and like you be blowing. But the bars is dope too. So like. Yeah. Would you would you want to categorize yourself in a certain area of hip hop or? I wouldn't. I kind of want to. Pay, I definitely. I mean, I'm I'm gonna pay my own lane with the stuff that I put out. 
And it's gonna be called Gangsta Jazz. <laughs> Gangsta Jazz. Oh, Gangsta that's Jazz. a new one. That's what I'm talking about, man. Originality. You don't see that a lot. So like not having that background growing up from you know from these R and B singers and then these cold ass hip hop artists. Which one did you kind of mess with first? Was it the singing or was it the rapping? It was definitely the rapping. The singing is just now something that's just like kind of in my dreams all the time. <laughs> like just remembering these different songs and uh, remembering how moved I was by them and just using this vessel that I was given to, you know, put that put those things out. So that's what's up. But yeah. The bars at first. I got all these notebooks from like third grade to now. And I just found them. Full of raps. Mm -hmm. You know my name used to be Madison Chase. I don't get yeah, it. Yeah, that's because my mom was going to name me that instead of Sydney. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, hey, the initials are MC. I'm instantly, this is my calling. This is my destiny. That's dope. But then I saw Brown Sugar and I was like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> nah. So outside of outside of music, what what other ways do you express yourself? Or is it just music? Uh, I like all types of art. I do graffiti and um. You lying? Yeah, and and kickboxing is dope too. So you you a whoop motherfucker? Ass. Not even like I'm I'm, I'm, a, I'm on some beginner type stuff right now, but catch me in like six three to six months, it's like over with a little Damn. bit. <laughs> So you, you actually be out here like tagging shit? You do? Nah, uh -huh. just on pencil paper, pencil paper. But uh -huh. I actually got a couple lines and stuff coming out. I um, I make everything. That shit. So when when people listen to your music, it's it's evident in the bars that you love your city. So I want to know, what is it about Chicago that influences you? Are there any musical influences, or you know where you live, where you grew up, or things like that? Uh, definitely, uh, I listen to a lot of Mary Mary, Layla Hathaway, India Ari, Jill Scott growing up, and my dad played, my dad put me on to like, he played a lot of Eminem, Tupac, Ludacris, he had that Busta, ooh, I just rediscovered that, I got my mom's, uh, CD case, <laughs> and it's just been in the car chilling, I was instantly like, okay, I'm so sick of the radio, I'm about to put one of these CDs in. <laughs> Whole childhood power right back up. You just own the e way. Like <laughs> you put that Busta Rhymes. And what was the one track that made you like, damn, this used to? <laughs> <laughs> Probably low key me and my bitch. True. Yeah. All right. So what can we look forward to in twenty thousand in twenty seventeen? I was gonna say 2017. 2017. That That's what the album gonna sound like. Really? Yeah. It's, 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 it's gonna sound like 2017. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not sure when it's dropping. Like I was saying, I'm a definite perfectionist, but I just been trying to let things go and kind of go with the flow and learn how to uh, just give what I got, live in these moments and give what you got. Real People, shit. they do good. They talking a lot. <laughs> Not yet, not yet. Yeah. We're gonna get to that point. We know, cause you was you was talking mad stuff at the at the showcase. Oh, the showcase. Days, you know, like you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I got these bars for you, Swisher. What's up? Now we're gonna get to that point though. So I hope you're ready to back it up. But I I want to know right now, like, you know, any performances, uh, you know, any singles coming out. Uh, what's up with you for 2017? What can we look forward to? March 21st, catch me at Asars. Go ahead and give us your social media info. Let us know where we can find your dope ass tunes at. Yo, find me on SoundCloud. Where on SoundCloud? Well, on SoundCloud. You don't know. Uh -uh. You don't know. You don't know. Nah, I don't know. Go to Shaw Music on SoundCloud. S Y D S H A W M U S I C. I know now. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, man, you ready to spit? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like the real question here is, is he ready to take this L? Ooh. Nah, let's do that. Okay. Alright, y'all. Y'all know what's about to happen. This is what we do, man. Switch the pearl. Sid Shaw. 
Oh man. Not again. Boosting my ego, I'm looking grade A on that B roll. When people greet me, they treat me like I'm a hometown hero. But really, I'm a villain amongst the chaos of rapes, robberies, and killings. I be chilling with my hands in the pockets of my denim. Serving crack verses, it's a multi platinum album in that pot that's in my kitchen. I can serve a sentence for these sentences I'm dealing This is possession with no intent to sell. People say they sold, cause we live in hell. Niggas like the hate, yeah, they wish I failed me. I wish it well. They review my tapes and wonder what it takes But if they knew what was at stake Then really they could relate Watching my mirrors hoping the trooper don't run my plates If he hit the lights I'm taking his ass on a chase I live my life by that hat hat in that face In my sleep my heart beats that All our daughters, they gotta save themselves One day I reached for my father And yo, he wasn't there They lay on all of my options I gotta find some help The streets is watching and plotting Hoping you don't excel Go, 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 run and run and run and tell the money that I'm coming Life ain't, life ain't always sunny when you want it Gonna, gonna let your light shine in the morning time Meditate, yo, I need more of that Running around in circles like a cul-de-sac Need the cheese like Kobe Jack Shoot my shot, they Kobe back Huh? It's love, it's culture. All that, black power. <laughs>